Swish, swish, bish Another one in the basket Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm gonna be filming a video and it's gonna be my BeautyCon makeup look because BeautyCon is this weekend and it's my second time going. This time I'm going with my mom and my sister because I went with my friends last time but I kinda miss them because I go to events like this with them and because they like it and you know, it's like really fun with them. So yeah, it's this weekend, I can't wait. And yeah, it's gonna be really exciting. I would get so star starstruck when I see all these like big celebrities in my eyes. So, yeah, let's just get on with it, video. Sorry if I'm like really awkward, I just haven't like done this in a while. So, yeah, I'm gonna be quiet, because I haven't done this in a while. Update on my hair. My hair has got better. It's just, it looks dry and like weird today because I had to use my purple shampoo again and my hairdresser like yelled at me because she said that I'm using it too much to turn my hair like gray. And sorry if I kind of sound congested. I have a little bit of really bad allergies this year, so yeah. First, we're gonna be taking my moisturizer. I'm gonna be taking the Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer with Broad Spectrum the SPF 15. I don't look cute when I'm putting on makeup. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to skip this part because it's like so basic. The only thing girls really change in their makeup routine is their eyes and lips to match their outfit or whatever they're feeling that day, you know. For the most part, this is like really the same. So next I'm gonna be taking this Maybelline Instant AG1 Primer. Okay, so I'm gonna take this Make It Forever Professional Paris Ultra HD Foundation. And I thought I ran out of this. It's in Y255. And I'm gonna take it by Damp Beauty Blender from this morning. And I'm gonna put it on there. I usually put it on this brush, but I feel like I'm putting on the uh, sponge. But of course, it's all out. I'll just put the excess. And then I'll take my finger and shake it. This is the Maybelline Matte Poreless Foundation in 125. This one. My camera doesn't want to focus today. <sighs> Another trick, if you have like dark circles like me, because you go to bed late, because there's a lot of homework and such, if you're like a teenager or adult like working, people always ask me still. My gym teacher actually asked me how to get rid of her dark circles. And I said she used everything because I gave her the products that I use. And yeah, people still ask me. Don't worry, I'm not getting off YouTube or anything. Crazy like that, I just been so busy. <sighs> you know, school, it's almost over, so be prepared for tons and tons and tons of YouTube videos. I owe that to you guys, because I feel so bad. So yeah. So now I'm just gonna take my damp beauty blender. It's not pink, it's just from the, when I was putting that orange stuff on. Like, you know when you put it under your eyes and it like makes it not, you know, dark. My mom, she got me this new palette from Becca. It's by Chrissy Teigen. Oh, and there's already eyeliner on it. It's really nice. This highlight, contour, and everything. The bronzer is Malibu Soleil. The highlighter is Beach Nectar. The blush is Hibiscus Bloom. And the rose gold highlighter is just rose gold. They're very pigmented. Okay, so I still use a sabled concealer. I'm using this to make a triangle on my eye. Of course, this is almost out because I haven't filled it forever, but I had the Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder, and my mom got this because she didn't know that you should get the yellow one. I mean, you could get the white one, but I prefer the yellowish one because this one is real white. But she got it because Kim Kardashian uses it. I 
I mean, I've used this a couple times, the Becca thing, but I want to give it a try again because, to be honest, I didn't really like this whole vibe because it's too dark for me. I have to be, like, really tan for it, but I'll give it a go. These Morphe, Morphe brushes don't really have a name, but it looks like this. It's, like, tapered. And as you can see, I use it for bronzer, but I'm gonna take Malibu Soleil right here. And I don't set my face anymore because I like to be tan. So what I do is just tap off the bronzer and I just pat it in because it's still wet. So you wanna go swoosh, 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 like I just said, but. Now, if you want to put it on, I take the Maybelline one. This one, because it's it says light, but for me, I don't know, it's light, but it looks like that. Like, it's not like the white one. So, I'll just take this, like that, and I'll tap off, because there's a lot in there. I hope this goes like this. I never thought duo fiber brushes work, but they do. They do. I really like them. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'm gonna be using the same thing. This is the Dip Brow by Anastasia Pomade in Soft Brown. I'm gonna be taking my concealer I use right under my eyes and a flat brush. I'm gonna take the Kylie flat one. So now I'm gonna be taking the Anastasia palette, that's all I crinkle, and I'm gonna take the banana shade and this shade with this little brush to set this. And take this, this is the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara, even though it looks like brow mascara, and we're just gonna set the brow. Okay, now we're gonna take a transition shade. I'm gonna use a Modern Renaissance palette. This is my favorite palette ever. And I'm gonna be taking my favorite orange shade right here. I don't know why it doesn't like to focus, but this one. And I'm gonna take this with it if I wanna tone it down because that's pigmented. Now I'm gonna be taking this color. It's called Primavera. Ooh, it's spring in Spanish. And we're gonna put Primavera right there. We'll take the, for our base for the gold. I don't know why this camera is like focusing, but this is the NYX Glitter Cream Palette. I'm going to be taking this. I've had this ever since I was like really little. And I'm going to be taking my concealer brush. So now we're going to be taking the glitter. And I don't know what brand this is. It's a shimmer powder. But just get any gold powder. And take the brush you're using for the sticky stuff. It's not glue, but it's just sticky.
All right, so now I'm gonna be taking the orange again or maybe the yellow. I'll just blend golden orange, raw sienna, burnt orange, and regular. These three and that one to transition. I've tested this out before on my sister and on me a little bit. So I'm gonna take that same brush. I'm just gonna put it in this one. So I'm just gonna be taking the regular color regar. I'm gonna be lining my eyes blue. This is the Sephora. I got this in like a kit. Yuck size. I don't know which shade it's in. Okay, I'm just gonna take this one. This one's by Morphe. And I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna run this under. This is Color Me Glow 12 Shades Shower from Provision. I'll just use this one actually. This is Rimmel 001 Black Eyeliner. It's a gel liner. And I got this brush also from Beautycon. I think it was for free. And I'm just gonna be lighting my eyes. Now I'm going to be taking the this eyelash curler. I can really tell the difference with it coring my lashes. My mom just got this from Amazon. It's called Rapid Lash. And it's really good because it grows your lashes within four weeks. I'm so glad I learned how to do this. I'm gonna be using these big ass ones. Sydney Lily Lashes. They're really, really big. Oh, let's open them. But they look like that. I used this yesterday and I got it from Beautycon. It's just a lip gloss, right? And you know how those lip glosses are always like, oh, you do this and your lips will get really big and you know, it never happens. Well, I thought that also. I'm gonna put this on and show you. This is by Pillow Plump Sexy Mother Pucker. So I'm just gonna be applying these really fast while you guys wait for the reaction. But do you see like a difference possibly? I'm gonna take the bronzer again from the Rebecca Chrissy Teigen palette and I'm gonna be putting this on my cheeks. So now I'll be taking the Laura Geller blush. I only tried this like a few times. This is Baked Blush Maui, but it looks like this. And I'm just gonna be applying it to my cheeks. The way I think I'm gonna go with this and I never tried this before, but we're gonna give it a go. So how I'm gonna put this on, cause it's very, very pigmented, is I'm gonna take a dual fiber brush and just put it in like this, cap it off. So now I'm gonna be taking my fave, as you're gonna tell, the Nicole Grau Anastasia Glow Kit. Got this like a month or two ago, and this is like gone. So I'm gonna take this brush, and it's like gold. I'm gonna take Glow Getter. This is like so Nicole, like it's funny.
I'm like so glad I learned how to focus this thing and finally like about time. And I'm gonna wear this with it. If you have anything white like this and you get like a ton of foundation on it like I did with this one, but the trick is to hand wash it. You don't just throw it in the dryer because it could get ruined. If you want some lip options, I got you, boo. Oh, it hurts. I don't know if you guys could tell, but they kind of got more bigger. Because my lips aren't tiny. First on lip options, we're going to test them on out. So I wear this one every day. This is Too Faced Melton Matte Liquid Lipstick. And yes, it's very long wearing. It doesn't come off when I eat food. So I mean, you could do this one. For me personally, I'm going for a more like beachy, not beachy, but summery vibe. I mean, you can obviously do whatever you want, boom. But I don't know about this one for me. But I add like this on top of it. See, it doesn't come off. This is lip option three, and this made my teeth look feel a lot of things. No, this is by NYX Lingerie, and in the shade Lipily. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video, and yeah, I really miss you guys. I miss this. You guys been dying for a makeup tutorial. I posted a poll on Twitter, and the main percentage of things was a makeup tutorial. I guess you guys really missed that, and that makes me feel really good. So yeah, please follow me on my Twitter to see any updates and everything. And yeah, I just took off the dress that I'm gonna wear for BeautyCon because I wanted to get ruined because it was getting some, some shadow because I got bigger this area region so it like falls there and it's really annoying. But yeah, so this is the makeup look I'm gonna be doing for BeautyCon most likely. I hope you love it. My room is almost done. I know it's been taking like forever, but we have to exchange it that light because the other one over there broke because I like bang my big ass backpack into it and it like, psh, like broke. So we're gonna get like white lamp to go along with my room because it's all white and it has like a little, 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 little spice, little like of pink. But yeah, please subscribe, like, feel free to go ham with liking this video and comment down there and yeah go follow me on all my social medias they'll be right here and yeah i love you guys so much bitches if i just look like bad sorry like i look like a bell in hand okay well i don't got time today okay well i don't got time today okay well i don't got time today you cause i'm all that you want boy all that you can have boy got me spread